Hey everybody! Welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric. Thank you so much for joining me. If you are new to the channel, welcome. It's very nice to meet you. And if you're returning, what's up squad? <laughs> so guys, welcome to your readings for the month of December 2018. We are already at the end of the year. Where has the time gone, right? Um, we're coming up on the one year anniversary of when I started this channel. I started it January 8th of 2018, and it's been a really amazing year so far. Um, to grow to 12,000 subscribers in, you know, under a year, I mean, I hit the, I think I hit the 12,000 mark in October, I want to say. But anyway, it doesn't matter. Like, you guys are amazing. Thank you so much for your support, for liking, sharing, subscribing, for just being here, especially to those of us, or those of you that are on this Twin to Flame journey. Thank you so much for being such an amazing support system, not just for me, but for everyone else that is on here. I mean, I don't know what I would do without the support of this community here we have on YouTube and everything. So I just want to give a big shout out to all of you guys. You're amazing. And for those of you that are just finding the channel, welcome to the community. Welcome to the group. Welcome to the family. Welcome to the club. Yes. So I also want to wish everybody a very happy holidays, no matter what you celebrate during this holiday season. And even if it's just for New Year's, happy holidays and happy new year, guys. It's going to be, 2019 is going to be really awesome. I can feel it. I'm really excited to, to start, to get started. Yeah. So I just want to make a quick point about um, Western astrology versus Eastern astrology. Uh, so many of you that have been following me for some time know that I recently started studying uh, Eastern or Vedic or sidereal astrology and for me personally, it's been so powerfully transformative and so accurate that I really adopted a lot of that. So that is why in the description box, you'll see I have two options. I have two versions, my Western chart and my Eastern chart. Um, I put that both of those there for those of you that still resonate with the Western chart. And I did receive a question from someone at one point asking which one... Um, you're, you are when it comes to my channel. I would say, I would recommend that you really investigate your Eastern uh, Vedic or Sidereal. They're all the same. They're like the same name for one name for the uh, different names for the same situation. <laughs> but uh, I would say, I recommend that you look up your Eastern chart because more than likely, or yeah, more than likely, most likely you are going to resonate with that one. It's more accurate. Um, it has more detail. Not everybody does. Some people find that they still resonate with the Western. So that's why I keep both of those situations there. Ultimately, it is your choice to figure, to, to understand or decipher which one, which side you resonate with more. Me personally, in my personal opinion, and if I were to approach you and have a conversation with you, I would lean more towards the Eastern side of things, but ultimately that is your decision. So if you want to figure, like, watch both sides, um, whatever signs you resonate or you have in your chart and see which side resonates with you, go right ahead. Um, but ultimately, I'm leaving that up for you guys to decide, okay? But anyway, so these are your messages for the month of December. Um, these are general, re uh, general messages. So take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If something does not fit, please do not try to make it fit. You'll only make yourself uncomfortable in the process, yes? Um, they're general readings, so these energies are fluid. Um, they could, we could be talking about you specifically. We could be talking about someone else that you're connecting with or someone that's surrounding you. Again, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. I am available for private readings. All the information is in the description box below. I am going to be taking it a bit easy for the month of December, um, but I'm still available. So if you want to get a reading, go ahead and look at the description box. Yes. Um, keeping it cute, as always, with the normal stuff. We've got the Golden Universal Tarot, and we've got Oracle Guidance from the Oracle of the Unicorns. I love unicorns. And if you know me, if you've been following the channel, you know just how much I love unicorns. Yeah? So I guess that's it, guys. Without further ado, let's do it. Hello, Leo. Welcome to your reading for the month of December. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let's get to it. <laughs> Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Leos, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for the month of December 2018. All right, Leo. So um, there's a message that I'm getting so far, Claire Audiently. It's saying that di divine timing is at hand. Okay. Um, 
as I was doing the pre-shuffle before I started the, you know, the session here, um, the two of cups did pop out immediately. Um, and for me, you know, in the messages that I've been channeling a lot lately, the two of cups has been more about the divine union within between masculine and femininity within more so than it is about, you know, um, reaching union with a soulmate, a twin flame, that kind of thing. Uh, I'm hearing very strongly about that for a lot of you, um, there is a divine partner, a divine soulmate that's coming into play. And this would be like, you're attracting this person. Um, it's very much, if you're familiar with the uh, Romance Angels deck by Doreen Virtue that many of the readers here on YouTube use, um, it's very similar to the card of calling in your soulmate. But this is something that you're doing, not necessarily consciously. It's more because um, you are working on the the union of masculinity and femininity within, which is then uh, resonating or reflecting outside into your external world. And because you're basically coming into union as soulmates between masculine and feminine within, then that would naturally call in a soulmate to you. And, you know, here you go. The Empress just caught my attention. Woo! And judgment. Um, and I'm still just shuffling for you, Leo. But, um, you know, you have, you're calling this person in. You are tapped into, in tune with the abundance and the fertility of nature, of life, of existence, of the universe. Some of you actually might be getting pregnant this month. Some of you might be planning on getting pregnant. Some of you might be hearing or feeling the call to prepare, work towards um, having children, having a family, building a family, getting those preparations together. And if you can't get pregnant, this is just you, like if you physically can't bear a child, then this is you working on some sort of family aspect. Yes, maybe through adoption, um, surrogacy, but also this could just be you planning, working with the universe to bring some sort of um, new existence into birthing, into creation, that, that sort of thing. It doesn't have to be about physically having a child. Your child could be um, a project that you're working on, something you've always wanted to do in your life, something you've always wanted to manifest. Leo, I feel like you're very, you're very focused right now on what it is you truly want in life and how you're going to get there. And I really feel like December is a month for you. Uh, there's, there are energies, there are very abundant energies around you to really get these plans off the ground, to start some sort of mapping something out, to actually even come into an understanding of what it is you truly want so that as you move through the new year, you can work towards it, okay? All right, Leo, one more shuffle for you and then we're gonna get into the cards here. All right, let's cut the deck. <laughs> All right, Leo. Overall energy. Whoa. This fell. All right. Overall energy, Leo. Oh, man. We're starting you off with the Ace of Cups. Look, y'all. Like, damn. <laughs> Leo, you got it going on this month. And this is divine love. This is love for yourself. You guys, you're no stranger to self-love. Um, you can be. Sometimes you can go a little bit too far and be really full of yourself, but this is not that kind of energy. This is love and respect for yourself. This is you. This is divine union. I'm hearing this is divine partnership, but this is the divine partnership starts with you. Okay. And this is what you're dealing with right now. This is what you're moving into the vibration of, or this may be the vibration you're already in with the ace of cups. But I really do see some of you, um, getting this offer from someone outside of you, okay, in the external world. You might be getting quite a bit of suitors coming forward, trying to get your attention, trying to get a little bit of your time. I really don't feel like you're going to be giving too much into that. Oh my goodness. The lovers. <sighs> Holy shit, Leo. Like, damn. Um, wow. Let's see what else we've got. Whoa, the Hierophant, the Hierophant, I don't even know how, I don't know how to pr pronounce that. The Hierophant, we'll just say it that way. And underneath the Hierophant, whoa, is the Emperor. All right, so this could be an Aries energy. Uh, you could be dealing with a Taurus. You also could be dealing with a Gemini or maybe even a water sign. Um, but signs are not, signs really don't really matter here. 
Uh, marriage could be coming into play. Some of you could be work moving, really moving towards some sort of marriage. Um, someone might be get some sort of proposal this month. This is the holiday season. I, I apologize if I have gone and ruined the surprise for some of you. Um, <laughs> but there could be a proposal. You could be working your way towards marriage. This could be a situation in which someone is really stepping up to the plate here with the emperor. Um, and saying, look, I want to take this further with you. I want to get serious with you. The Emperor and the, the Hierophant are really, are both up com cards about commitment here, okay? The, the Emperor is very much committed to himself, to his realm, to his world, to his family, to whatever he holds reign over. Um, and he does so with an iron fist, but uh, there is a bit of compassion there too for, you know, the, the, those that he truly cares about. And he very much does care about those that he reigns over in his domain. Um, and this is a positive energy that I'm seeing here. And then with the lovers, here you go. And the, and the two of cups popped out. The two of cups, as I was doing the pre-shuffle, and that is very much like the minor arcana version of the lovers. And here you've got the major arcana. You've got the lovers. This is the divine union. This is the, the union between uh, uh, masculine and feminine within. This is the divine partner, the soulmate, the twin flame, that sort of situation. Um, you're really moving towards some sort of marriage, some sort of commitment. Um, but this is also, Leo, if this is not something that is actually happening for you in the physical world, in your 3D existence, this is actually what is going on within. You're really becoming more committed to yourself in a much deeper, and I want to say safer way than you may have in the past. Um, it's like you're understanding yourself better uh, you're understanding yourself from a different point of view. You're choosing vi a virtue over vice. Virtue would be choosing yourself, honoring your wishes over that of someone else's. And I really don't feel like this is in a selfish way. You're really taking control over your life. You're taking ownership of your life. And you're moving forward with it. And I'm hearing quickly, okay? Let's get into the rest of the reading here. Your first set of energies, first set of surrounding energies in your first row here, you have. The Seven of Wands, so this is boundary. These are boundaries. These. This is um, standing your ground, holding, holding your own, not really letting anybody fuck with you. And here we go. We've got Archangel Michael here. So this is you. Mar Ooh, sorry, guys. Let's just let that go by. And that energy of Archangel Michael coming through and like helping you cut some shit out, here you go. This is you keeping up those boundaries. And saying, no, you're just, I'm just not going to, you're unfuckable with <laughs> right now. I'm just not going to let anybody fuck with me. I'm not going to let anybody dim my shine, um, you know, manipulate me out of my happy place. Because I really feel like you have really reached a happy place, Leo. The Seven of Wands is coupled with the Four of Swords. You're taking a break. This is that energy that I was picking up on <clears throat> where some of you, you might be getting some suitors coming forward. Some people wanting to, wanting to you know to share some of your time and whatnot, but this, you're still in a bit of a restful period for the month of December. And I really feel like that's a great place for you to be in because it's going to help you really prepare for 2019. There may be some serious things popping off for you in 2019 and you may just want to take this time to just rest, rest, relax, recuperate, do some healing, do some reflecting over the past year. Um, this is a good, this is a good place to be in, Leo. Second set of surrounding energies for you. We've got the Ace of Swords, the epiphany, the truth, the aha moment. I really feel like a lot of you are seeing things clearly, much clearer than you may have in the past. You're seeing something for as it truly is. You may, especially in light of this Ace of Cups here, you may really be seeing yourself as you truly are in a light that you may have never seen yourself before. Um, and that's a really great thing. It's a really great thing. Sorry, guys. Ooh, a little, a little, a little harsh. <laughs> okay, the Ace of Swords is coupled with the Six of Pentacles. So, okay, so I really feel like a lot of you have come into the understanding of how something really has not been balanced in your life. This could, this could be financially. This could be business wise. Um, something that have to do with a job that you might have been in, that you may be transitioning out of, a job that you may be working on transitioning out of, and this would be coming from a place of self love because you're understanding how the the the, the scales are not balanced here, um, and because you love and respect yourself on a much deeper level than you may have in the past, you're kind of like you're giving 
more thought to transitioning out of this potentially. Um, but this could also be a romantic relationship. <clears throat> you may have finally come to terms with how things really have not been balanced, whether you were giving too much and they were giving too little, or they were giving too much and you were giving too little, you are really starting to see this from a point of view. And for some of you that were in the position of really just taking, taking, taking and not giving back, um, it's kind of it's kind of like a bittersweet lesson here for you because you're starting to understand how selfish you really may have been um, and how detrimental that has been not only to the relationship but to you overall. You see how this all comes to full circle? By loving yourself and respecting yourself more on a deeper level, you see, you, you would think some people are like, oh, well, I'm just going to be more selfish. Well, actually, the more you love and respect yourself, you start to really see how being so selfish really doesn't help anybody, okay? Especially you, because it creates a false sense of security for you. It creates false relationships. It attracts more of that selfish energy and it's just it just over time becomes extremely toxic right your challenge in this first row you have whoa the knight of swords you might be dealing with a gemini i do see i mean and you have gemini energy here with the lovers i do see uh the page and the knight of swords as some as gemini energy specifically it could be any air sign aries uh, not aries excuse me uh aquarius Libra, Gemini, it doesn't have to be an air sign, but there is, the, the challenge here for you, Leo, is to pick your battles wisely with the Knight of Swords. Don't just go lashing out at people because you might have the upper hand, you might be quote unquote right in the situation. Um, being right or wrong in a situation is strictly from an egoic point of view, just keep that in mind. Um, but you're needing to pick your battles wisely, especially with this seven of uh, seven of wands and four of swords energy that you're in this month. Um, <clears throat> this is you basically deflecting any sort of argumentative, aggressive, confrontational energy that might be coming your way. You also could be blocking yourself from getting too aggressive, confrontational, argumentative, that kind of thing. We all know how Leo's... <laughs> Leos like to argue. I mean, I'm one of them. I'm a Leo rising, and man, can I argue a point. <laughs> the Knight of Swords is coupled with the Four of Pentacles, you see? Now, um, I really feel like there could be someone in your vicinity, Leo, that is really holding on to some ungrounded bullshit, outdated bullshit, and they just want to fight and fight and fight about it until they're blue in the face. This could potentially be you, Leo. Um, and that's your challenge here. Don't give into that. You got to let this go and just move forward. And if it's not you that's holding this energy, it's this other person, don't even engage with them. It's not worth it, Leo. I promise you it's not worth it. Or Crosswatcher, it's not worth it. Just let bygones be bygones. Let them do their thing. Let them stew in their cesspool of past drama and karma, and you just move on with your life, okay? Your final message or potential outcome in this first row here, you got the King of Wands. So here you are, Leo. This officially would be your card, as in the King of Wands fixed energy. Uh, it doesn't have to be you, though. Um, it could be the cross watcher. It could be someone else around you. Um, but it also doesn't have to be Leo energy. It could be another fire sign, but again, it could be someone else. But I really feel like, for the most part, this is you here, Leo. This is being very sure of yourself, very standing your ground. And I do see how this... This man, the King of Wands here, is looking back on all this energy, seeing things very clearly, understanding exactly what's going on around him or her, and not wanting to fight about it, just standing your ground, defending your position should you need to. But again, I really don't feel like you're looking for a fight right now. The King of Wands is coupled with ooh, the Two of Swords. Okay, but this could be also why you're needing to stand your ground and stay in this restful energy because for some, and it's interesting that this came out this way because I did see that you were seeing, I, I do feel and hear that you're seeing things clearly, but there's someone around you that's not necessarily seeing things as they really should be or as they, they really need to see them. They're not necessarily seeing, I feel like this is someone around you that's having trouble making a decision in regards to what to do next involving you somehow, Leo. 
it's like you're standing very firm in your in, in your position and there's someone else that's kind of like not unsure about it because you have the ace of swords here okay with the six of pentacles you're very much balanced in your give and take But there may there might be even though you're seeing a lot around you very clearly, there still might be something that you're not seeing clearly, that you're having trouble making a decision around. So that could be why you're in this Seven of Wands, Four of Swords energy here. But also, I'm getting for the most part, I'm getting there's someone that is around the Leo, that is connected with them in some way or connecting to them in some way, that's having that's being indecisive. And the King of Wands is sitting here and just saying, all right, well, you can make your decision any time now. I mean, I know what I want. I, I know exactly what I want. But I need you to make a decision. Or I'm just going to, in order for us to move forward. The King of Wands is saying, I'm going to move forward anyway, regardless. Regardless of whether you're on board or not, I'm moving forward. So you need to make a decision. That's why I really feel like the King of Wands is here with the Two of Swords. Because someone is procrastinating. And I really feel like it's because in order for them to make a decision, they would need to see some things about themselves that they may have been fighting, disregarding for quite some time. Okay, second row here. First set of surrounding energies for your second row, Leo. You've got, there's that two of cups. Divine soulmate partnership is what I'm hearing. Now, I know I just took like three keywords and put them all together. Um... Divine or two divine partnership soulmate. Uh, to be quite honest with you, the term soulmate can mean many different things. It doesn't have to mean a, a romantic relationship. It really, literally, could just be someone that comes into your life that you have some sort of connection contract with um, that you could that you're learning something from. This could be a teacher, a guardian, a parent, a best friend, someone that you meet off the street that you just. You know, someone that you meet randomly and you really don't have much time together, but you still have some sort of, you have some sort of energetic exchange with each other. That really could be a soulmate. But here, we're talking soulmate in the romantic sense, because you've got the two of, two cups, you've got the lovers, so you've got both depictions, you know, of this soulmate bond. You've got the major and the minor arcana depiction here, and you've got the ace of cups. So you were really, for many of you, we're talking about a soulmate partnership. Now, I want to say that the more you work on yourself, the more you attract someone to align, uh, or the more you align with someone that can reciprocate this energy for you, yes? Two of Cups is coupled with strength. Oh! There you are, Leo. This is you. Um, you could be connecting with another Leo. This could be for the cross watcher. Um... But I do see a union of hearts. I heard that just now. A union of hearts is coming into play. And there's there's really nothing externally that you really need to push for, that you need to do here. This is all happening internally. Divine guidance is at play. You are being aligned with someone that's naturally just going to navigate towards you. Um, mag be, be gra uh, uh, Navigate, sure, but gravitate towards you. Um, you two are just going to attract each other. Uh, but this is needing to have restraint, Leo. Having the strength to really bring this union together within so that you can realize it on the external. You have a serious strength here in the union of hearts that you, in, in the union of hearts that you are developing within. It's making you much th that much stronger. It's making you that much more attractive. That's excellent, Leo. That's really beautiful. Second set of surrounding energies for your second row here. You've got the three of wands. Look at that, okay? You are very much in the position of aligning with the return of your investment. This is waiting for your ships to come in. Alignment is key here. Really, the only thing you need to do at this position is, number one, continue to invest reciprocal energies here into the into the situation that you're manifesting, that you're attracting, in order to keep the flow going. But the only other thing that you would need, and this is not as much investment as you may have been putting in in the beginning in order to get to get started. You've already got good momentum. So all you would need to do is to continue to invest in order to keep up the momentum. Okay. But also that is majorly just staying in alignment 
I really see this person staying in alignment here by just standing in between all these wands and maintaining his alignment by holding on to one. Okay? That's great. Three of wands is coupled with <laughs> the king of pentacles. Good. This could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Doesn't have to be. Um, but this is you. Okay, this is you being very well manifested here as the King of Pentacles. Um, uh, this is more Aries, I'm sorry, not Aries. This is more um, Emperor energy in the sense of you are the master of your domain. You are the king in your, I mean, you've got two kings on the deck, on the table. You got the King of Wands, you got the King of Pentacles, and then you've got the Emperor underneath the deck. So you're very well manifested. You're very much the master of your domain. You're financially well set. Okay, Leo? And I really feel like if you're not already in this energy, you are making your way towards it. You may have some... If you don't actually have this right now, if you don't feel this right now, you could be coming into a position this month where you start to see it. You start to see how you could be in this energy, in this position of being well manifested. You have your, you got your career on point. You got your money on point. You know, you got a little bit of savings or you're working towards savings, whatever that looks like for you or whatever that would feel like for you. So this is here, you being very well manifested and waiting for your, the return on your investment. Okay. This is, this is quite excellent, Leo. I really like this reading for you. Your challenge in the second half of your reading here, you've got... Whoa, ho, ho, the chariot. You could be dealing with a cancer. You could be a cancer Leo, can, I'm sorry, cancer Leo Cusper. Um, the challenge, again, is keeping the momentum. And how do you keep that momentum? By staying balanced, staying in alignment. Taking your positive, your negative, your good, your bad, your masculine, your feminine, and keeping it balanced so that you can keep the momentum going, okay? But really, some you really could be, you could be aligning with a Cancer, a Cancerian, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Um, actually, I'm going to say Sun, Moon, or Rising for the most part. Because to me, in this situation, Venus just feels like the energies of love, how you react to love. Sun, moon, and rising is really how you appear in the world, okay? Those, so, so yes, Venus is, is important um, when you're trying to understand what's going on for, with love for you. But here, if you're, if you're aligning with a Cancerian, it's most likely going to be sun, moon, or rising, okay? But it really could be anything. It really could be anything, guys. <laughs> uh, the chariot is coupled with, hey now, the king of swords. You could be dealing with an air sign also. Again, it doesn't have to be. But look at this, guys. You've got the king of wands, the king of pentacles, and now the king of swords. Okay? The, the challenge here is remaining objective. Not getting caught up in expectation about timelines, about people. Even though I'm saying to you, you could be aligning with a cancerian. Don't let that trigger you into... Um, into getting or pigeonholing yourself saying, okay, well, he's saying I'm aligning with a Cancerian. I've been feeling this connection with a Cancerian, so it must be this person. So now I'm going to expect it to come through. Nope. The King of Swords says, well, whatever. It still could be anybody. All right. So remain in that objective point of view here. Do what you need to do. Do what is necessary to maintain your alignment. It's so crazy because I've been seeing the King and the Queen of Swords lately as individuals that are becoming more okay with the emotions. Uh, they're still they're still maintaining their detachment, okay, from emotions. But it's almost as if they're like the gatekeepers here. So it's like this person has this emotional balance and this momentum moving forward, and they're leading the charge with the king or the queen of swords in the sense that they're cutting away anything that stands in their way of moving forward. And that is very much king of wands energy here. Not really caring about whether other, what other people have to say or not really caring about any sort of obstacles or perceived obstacles that may be in your way. Because you're going forward regardless of whether they like it or not. Nothing is going to stop you. And you've got that right here in your challenge. Your challenge, your second challenge, I guess, for the month is to maintain this objectivity, maintain this balance, and maintain this movement forward, okay? The, the momentum. Your final message for your second row here or the potential outcome, you've got, damn, the eight of wands. There you go. 
Okay, there and you've got both both depictions of this divine union with the lovers and the two of cups, and then you've got both depictions of this swift movement with the chariot and the eight of wands. So the potential outcome here, or maybe even the final message for you, however it resonates, is the eight of eight of wands. Swift movement even communication. You could be hearing from someone that you've been con uh, connecting with on an energetic level. <clears throat> or ultimately, you're just really moving forward fast paced with one goal in, your, in mind. You've got that, that, that laser vision, Leo. Nothing is going to stand in your way. And honestly, it really feels like nothing really could stand to stay in your way. Because you're so powerful, you're so connected with yourself, you're so connected with who you are and what you want, that nothing can withstand the heat of your fire at this moment. So even if they did try to stand in your way, they're just going to get burned like hell. <laughs> Eight of Wands is coupled with, hey now, the Seven of Pentacles. So this is that energy, and now that's, that's so crazy, look at this. I just want to point it out. You're you you're starting with a seven and you're ending with a seven. You're starting with the seven of wands and you're ending with the seven of pentacles. That's really cool. But what that what this is saying to me here is you're moving quickly with um with all of the what you've learned in hindsight at your disposal. Everything that you learned over the course of your journey right now, wherever you find yourself in life. The Seven of Pentacles is about the harvest, but it's also about taking stock and understanding what you need to do to plant the seeds for a better harvest in the future. And you've got all of that info, all of that knowledge under your belt right now. And this is what's really helping propel you forward. If you're not in this energy right now, this is energy that you're moving into, that you're aligning with, okay? <clears throat> you could find yourself in this energy by the end of the month. But all in all, Leo, this is a beautiful reading. Fantastic. Okay, let's get into your oracle guidance for this month here. Let's see what the unicorns have for you. For my Leos, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus here. All right. Best message for Leo, please, Spirit, for the month of December. Thank you so much. For Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, December 20. There it is. Look at you. I told you. Now, I done told you. <laughs> Underneath the deck, you do have growth. Um, seek, an, seek out a mentor or a guide. Take baby steps as you grow. Be willing to learn from others. Um, but this is saying to me that you really have grown quite a bit. And here you go. You're standing in your prosperity. A gift of money is on its way. Your income is increasing. Manifest your finances. I'm sorry. Manage. Manage your finances with love. But also there's a fourth message in that. Manifest your finances with love. But you are in a great place. And this is not just physical or monetary uh, prosperity. This is energetic prosperity. Like I said, Leo, you are in some serious alignment right now. And you're unstoppable. Nobody's going to stop you. Because you finally learned how, if you're in the right alignment, they can't stop you. And this is not from an egoic point of view. This is this is divine align, alignment. This is alignment with your higher self, with source, God, creator, however you want to, to um, uh, label it. I mean, you are very much in control of your domain right now, Leo. You've got the emperor the King of Wands, the King of Swords, the King of Pentacles, the only thing you're missing is the King of Cups. And it's not even like you're missing that. Because you got that. In many cases, you are that right now. You are the King of Cups. Why? Because you have that Ace of Cups at the top of the deck. That is your self-love, your divine love, your, your cup runneth over. <laughs> As many of us have come to uh, adopt that phrase. So in many ways, you would be, you're standing in your power as the King of Cups, ready for a divine union, ready for divine love, getting into the alignment of that, being the master of your domain. That's really beautiful, Leo. So there it is. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you guys have a great month. Um, I am available for private readings. I'm not going to be taking as many as, you know, maybe in the previous times uh for the month of december but that is mainly because it's the holiday season and um you know i do want to take it a little easy this month 
Um, but all of the information is in the description box below. You can find my email address along with all the readings that I offer. If you cannot decide on which reading to take or to order, email me. We'll chat about your situation and I will help you pick one out. Yes. So with that said, much love to you all. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I look forward to connecting with you again very soon. Yeah. Take care. Mwah! Bye.